we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bobby McSquiggums, and today we're doing something that's weird. I, I don't... It's, it's fine. We're going to do something kind of silly, a little ridiculous. Everybody else is doing this. I've seen it on a few different channels, and it's something that I've considered doing actually for years. So why not? We're going to hop in. We're going to do it last 12 days of the month. I'm going to bring you something new each and every day. It's going to be the 12 days of Bump Miss. I know it's weird. It's fine. So on the first day of Bump Miss, McSquiggums brings to you Telepath RPG Servants of God by Sinister Design. The folks that brought us Telepath Tactics, I'm excited to see uh, Together in Battle. It's coming out eventually sometime in the future. Uh, good tactical turn-based strategy games. This is going to be an RPG, and it's requested by someone to cover it. And I've been trying to get this going for a while. Anyway, we're going to hop in. We're going to begin. We're going to have some fun. I have everything is situated as much as I can. It is an older game. doesn't have, you know, 16 by 9 support. It's... It's 4x3, you know, old school stuff. So I designed the little weird stuff you see on the side there. And it says Telepath RPG, Sinister Design. Anyway, let's let's get into it, guys and gals. Let's begin our 12 days of Bump Miss. Make yourself a name. I kind of wanted to leave it as name. Your character is a male. Well, thanks for assuming. No, it's fine. Um, Kermit. We're going to be Kermit. Why not? And we get to assign points to stats to start off with. We have Psi Defense, Psi Power, Personality, and Aptitude. Uh, okay, let's see. Defense, your ability to shield yourself and others from harm, impacts health, available healing abilities, and Psi Reserves. Max out for a permanent health bonus. Ooh. Then we have the Power of Psi. It determines the damage dealt by your offensive Psi abilities, impacts available offensive abilities, and Psi Reserves. Max out for an early access to elemental attacks. Interesting. Personality, not something that I have a lot of, uh, determines your persuasiveness and ability to command others, impacts team size and chances of success in dialogue, and then finally aptitude. Affects your intelligence, perceptiveness, and manipulation powers, impacts scanning, training cost, abilities to see in darkness, and evasion of random battles. Also looks like there are some predetermined dealies. There's our defender. It essentially focuses on healing and defense and retaliatory strikes. We have the manipulator. Uh, manipulator reads others like a book, adding his own passages when needed. So that's aptitude. Then we got the statesman. Relies on logic and persuasion. And then finally the warrior. Which is more along the lines of what I would do. Let's lower my personality and aptitude a bit. Oh, are we maxed out at 12? Oh, heck yes. Okay, well, then we're fine. My aptitude's going to be a bit garbage, but you know what? I got. I should have a bonus to health and a bonus to Psy. Power and offensive elemental attacks and stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we're going to go normal. Uh, let's see here. Uh, easy, weaker, stupider <laughs> than on normal. You begin with a huge store of soul charges. That's for people who only care about story. Enemies are fairly tough, reasonably smart. The game is challenging, but absolutely winnable without a lot of grinding. And then hard enemies are smarter than normal. Training costs more gold you can get from battles is capped. Oh, and you can only start with one soul charge. We're going to go normal. And let's just see what brutal is as well. Enemies are much tougher and a bit smarter than on normal. Training costs a lot more gold you can get from battles is capped. You start with no soul charges. Select if you're looking for a serious challenge. Challenge. Normal difficulty set. Show tutorials by all means. Teach me your ways, O oh game. Teach me your ways, indeed. Telly. From afar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pathy, or telepathy, or telepathy. Feeling suffering. So burning and crud. That's fine. Telepathy from far off suffering. I like it. Or feeling. Or both. It's Kermit. Hmm. What is. That's, that's not Kermit. Huh. What is going on over there? Say continue. I say continue. Ooh, creepy. The man on the stage appears to be in the middle of giving a speech or sermon of some kind. The icon, I guess? The icon teaches us that Yahweh is the one true God. He alone created the heavens and the earth. 
He alone breathed life into us all. Yahweh alone is God. His name be praised. We have all of us lived lives of sin and iniquity, and we must not allow ourselves to be seduced. We must not give in to false promises. Friends, I too was once a follower of folk or religion. <clears throat> a believer in tall tales, but no longer. Yahweh, in his grace and his glory, has shown me the way. How? How? Why, through the icon, of course. The icon is his gift to us. It shows us the right way of living and how to avoid the temptations of the dark ones. Uh, what is the icon? What is the icon, he laughs. You think you can hear a derisive chuckling from a few people in the crowd, but you can't tell for certain. Your parents should have taught you better, but that is why I am here, to bring forth the word of Yahweh in Ravenvale. Or Ra Ravenale. He reaches into the folds of his robe and pulls out a rather impressive-looking leather-bound tome. The icon is Yahweh's book. It speaks the word of Yahweh, as heard by the prophet. Here, it is yours. Take it. This looks interesting. Ignore it. Tell me who are the dark ones. No, thank you. Uh, this looks interesting. You walk up to the stage, accept the book. This looks interesting. Of course it is. It is the book of Yahweh, the superlative. The most interesting, the most wonderful, the most high. That book will change your life in ways you never imagined a book could. I don't see what's so great about this Yahweh. Why should I worship him? What has he ever done for me? Says a man in the crowd. I don't know if that's me or not. What has he not done? He hath breathed life into your lungs as an infant. He guided your limbs when you learned to walk. He shines light from the heavens that you might see. Yahweh has given us everything. A woman in the crowd calls out, My youngest son is ill with a deadly fever. My family still worships Anu, and I try to tell them that they must worship Yahweh instead. What should I do? His voice turns tender. Tell them that Yahweh feels their pain. Tell them that he has a plan for each of them. All he asks of them is that they believe and follow his commandments. Tell your son, especially so that Yahweh may shelter him. The woman in the crowd is nodding vigorously, tears streaming down her face. And what if he does not believe? Will Yahweh just let her son die? Say what you will, but my faith still stays with Anu. He has done great things for my family. He answered my prayers that my daughter be granted entrance to the Psy Academy. The preacher's voice thunders. Anu is a false god. You have been seduced by its lies, but be fooled no longer. For they who worship false gods will surely be stricken. The population will be drained of this disease as a swamp. The day is coming, and soon, maybe tomorrow... When Yahweh will cleanse the earth of the wicked and the corrupt, do not doubt that Anu will be among them. I pray that your daughter will be delivered from her sins before the day of judgment. I was young when they first showed up in oh. Avanar. Probably no older than 13. Mother and father were as blind as anyone. It's a little quiet. We were all blind. It was right in front of us and we could not see. Not until they came for us. Huh. But the balance of sounds are a little bit rough, so it has to be a little quiet. Or we'll be deafened by the music, which we may still have to turn down. We'll see. We're going to try to get through this episode and see if I need to adjust or change anything. What does he think will happen if we just roll over and play dead for these self-proclaimed servants of God? That's exactly what I told him. He has to know that this new law will never pass constitutional muster. We'll challenge it. It'll be overturned, and then things can return to normal. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Done with your lessons already, are you? I always told you he was brilliant. She turns to you. How are your psi techniques coming along? I feel better about them every day. I wish... Uh, what's that? Bubashka, sure, would let me move on to learn elemental attacks already. You should trust her. When you're ready, I'm sure she'll teach them to you. He shakes his head. You shouldn't be in such a hurry. Why not? She interrupts, pretending not to hear you. You have always hated when she does that. Where's your friend Griffin? I haven't seen him around lately. He joined the Ravenel Guard, remember? Oh, right. It's strange, though. You think that he must get some time off to see his friends and family. I'm sure he must be very busy. Well, Kermit, if you ever hear from him, 
tell him that we miss seeing his smiling face around here. You hear a loud pounding on the door. Uh, who could that be? Oh, no. Oh. Surrender yourselves in the name of Yahweh. Come peacefully and you will not be harmed. General Daka, what is the meaning of this? I tried to tell you, Senator, but you would not listen. You have left me no choice. The law makes no sense, Farik. Farik? Farik? Sorry. It is truly God's will that only certain people, or if it is truly God's will, if only certain people must hold office, then surely those people will win the elections. Why arrest the others who run? He puts a hand on General Dekaz's shoulder as to urge him not to respond. The people are easily misled, Madame Duvalet. But Yawa cannot be fooled. He turns to the guards. I have known Senators Duvalier for quite some time. They are good people, but misguided. Treat them courteously. So what about the boy? What about the boy? Might be put in jail. Yep. Been in the cell for months now. I don't know what they did with mother and father. Gotta find a way out of here. Wait, what was that? Oh, dang. Griffin, is that you? It's Griffin, apparently. Uh. Cool, I can move around. Sweet. Yeah. What this? This bowl contains a shallow pool of fetid water. Oh, it's my toilet. Lovely. This is the uncomfortable bug infested bed of straw you sleep on or you slept on every night during your time in this jail. Well that seems bad. Can't we get rid of the bugs or something? Hey man. I just knew I'd find you in here. Uh cool. You could hardly believe it. It's your old friend Griffin. Even before they threw you in the cell, you hadn't seen Griffin in months. Not since he joined the Ravenale Guard. I just knew I'd find you in here. Griffin, what are you doing here? When I heard that they'd arrested your parents, I had a feeling you'd end up in prison along with them. You're such a mama's boy. <laughs> He's such a mama's boy, Kermit. And he smirked. Yeah, really funny, Griffin. Did you find my parents? Griffin shakes his head. This place is full of senators. Unfortunately, it's also positively crawling with mercenaries. I'm just lucky I found you. So they weren't just after mother and father. No, didn't you hear? They dissolved the parliament, then remade it, packed with their own supporters. His voice takes on a bitter edge. The cult is consolidating its hold on power. I'm sure it's nothing personal. I haven't heard from you in months. Why are they using mercenaries to guard this prison? I haven't heard from you in months. Uh, how's everything going in the guard? Even as you ask it, you realize that Griffin has deserted his post. He sounds uncomfortable. Yeah, look, long story. We'd better go meet up with the others, or else we'll have the entire prison guard crawling up our backs. Uh, others? Yeah, he looks behind him. I think the way back should be clear. Scan the passage Griffin wants to escape through. You reach out with your mind and feel around for emanations in the passage behind Griffin. You sense at least one person, male, suspicious of a recent disturbance. That passage isn't clear. There's a guard in there. Griffin looks surprised. How do you know? I've been training with the gift. I can sense thoughts pretty easily now. It's like watching clouds pass overhead. If you pay attention, you can make out different shapes. And they tell a story. Wow, I mean, I knew you had the gift, but I didn't know you had the sight as well. Kermit, do you mean a favor? These hallways are pretty dark. Can you guide me if we run into any enemies? Just do that thing where you speak into my head. Oh, cool. Yeah, I could do that. Great. Let's get out of here. Let's do it, eh? Alright, prepare for Battelle. Prison Escape 1. Objective, defeat all enemies to win. Okay, uh, yeah. Well, that seems fine. Oh, I see. There's an there's an M and M and Move your character until you are out of steps. Uh-huh. Then press space to end your turn. Or undo, or rotate, or... Okay. Uh, do we know how far this dude can move? Uh, I'm gonna stop there. 
Then click, uh, face your enemy, then click the attack button. Okay. Ba-doom, 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 ba-doom. Uh, I'm gonna rotate. And then I'm gonna hit you with some knowledge. Kerber deals 13 damage with a mind blast. Victory! One ten gold coins! Sweet. That was cool. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. You didn't even notice that you felt lightheaded until you were halfway down the hallway. Uh, to your, wait, when you're halfway down to your knees, excuse me, uh, the stone floor is cool to the touch. Uh, it takes a moment to remember to breathe, another few to form verbal response. Y yes, I'm, I'm fine. What's the matter? That's so the first time you've ever killed someone, huh? Yeah, that's hard. What is the matter? You, you yourself don't know, not until you hear yourself saying it. He just crumpled to the floor and, and that was it his mind just stopped he had all those thoughts and memories and emotions and hopes for the future and we, we killed him griffin and he said yeah you killed someone this first time yeah it's tough not always it gets easier but it's never easy and it shouldn't ever feel easy believe me if it didn't feel bad there would be something seriously wrong with it that's a good point. Remember that. That wasn't your fault. He attacked us. And he gives us a supportive smile. And you feel the strength returning to your limbs. You're able to stand now. Does it always feel this bad? And then so on and so forth. All right. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, good. So, I take it you haven't led anyone in battle before, huh? Not really. I mean, I've had lessons from tutors. Right, I figured. I don't remember you ever doing any military work. Here's a tip. I can take more hits than you can, even with your fancy mind bubble thing. It's called a mind shield? <laughs> yeah, that thing. Anyway, you should keep me out in front so I can take hits from the enemy. If I start looking like I'm in bad shape, though, use your mind shield on me so I can keep going. I didn't break you out of jail just so I could end up dead. Okay, no problem. Good. And you know... You don't have to attack anyone if you don't want to. I can handle it. Really. Just keep me shielded if I get hurt. Okay. Shouldn't we shield you before you get hurt? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh-oh. Griffin, you're back. Oh, hey. Did you find Senator Duvalier? No, unfortunately. I did find my friend, but his parents were not being kept nearby. Huh. A uh, woman in pastel blue robe stands waiting in the middle of the hall. A quick scan of her mind tells you that her name is Rachel. Uh, she nods her acknowledgement to Griffin as you approach. Okay, nope, didn't find the parents. Mm, that's a shame. We could have really used their help. Not to worry. I have a feeling that he will be just as helpful to our cause. Cause? Uh, what are you talking about? How can he possibly help us? Appreciate you. the resources to babysit a senator's son on top of everything else. We need finances, Griffin. We need backers with connections. We're never going to be able to stand against the cult in our current state. She's not real happy with us. Rahel, you're a tactician. Show some tact. Wow. Duvalier here has the gift for one thing. But more importantly, he has the sight. He could be a real help to us in battle. That's right. Is correct, but are you suggesting that we let someone with no tactical experience direct us in battle Merely because he has the sight? Sounds like a plan to me. Why don't we just get a running start and throw ourselves onto their swords right now? It'll save everyone a lot of time and trouble. I like the way she thinks. See? That's positivity. That is optimism right there. Appreciate you, Rachel. That's enough. Whoa. You gave up your command of this group. Unless you want it back, you're going to have to listen to my order. Oh, dang. Besides... You of all people should appreciate the significance of being able to instantly see and react to everything that's happening on the battlefield. Yeah. I heard guards up ahead. I'll scout the passage. Oh, she's mad. Uh, Rachel says nothing, practically radiating annoyance. When she finally speaks, her affect is flat. She walks off. What's going on here, Griffin? All right, here's the deal. I somehow ended up in command of the People's Resistance of Ravenal a few weeks ago. Really? It's a long story that I'll tell you later, but time is short. Basically, 
we really need your help. Please don't take Rahel's comments personally. She's not always easy to get along with. Story of my life. I want you to use your gifts to help us overthrow the cult. What do you, you want? You don't from necessarily me? have to fight. Just direct us with your gifts. Use the site to keep track of what's happening on the battlefield. Keep everyone safe and guide us to victory. That's all I ask. Oh well, that sounds simple. That's a lot to ask. Why should I help you? Sounds simple enough. Uh, but I know little of battlefield tactics. I mean, do I? Let, let's be honest. I, I know a lot of battlefield tactics. Remember, send your send your cavalry into large lance wielding units to throw them off balance, and then attack the attack and melee the heavily armored uh, knights with your archers, and then f try to run away from the charging uh, cavalry of the enemy. That's the best tactics right there. That will win you every battle. If you want to fight against me, use those tactics. You'll beat me every time. Promise. Promise, try it. Just try it. Just go ahead. No worries. You can learn as you go. Besides, you already know the basics. Keep, Keep me out front and, and use my shield, shield on me. Keep Rahel further away from the enemy and have her shower them with arrows. Just make sure no one gets killed. Each of us has only got one life. Nice. And when it's gone, it's gone. All right, let's do it. So you'll do it. Ah, of course. I knew I could count on you. Let's get out of here. You know, it's, it's it's the eyes. My eyes are trustworthy. There are guards up ahead. Three. Seize the initiative and attack. Let's sneak around them. No sense taking chances. No, we're attacking. Prison escape two. Defeat all enemies to win. Can I manage attacks? Ooh. Oh, look at all this. Stuff. Okay, cool. All right, what does Mind Shield do? Do we get to know? I like. I mean, like, I'm, obviously, I'm going to. Oh. Obviously, I'm going to use it, but I don't get to really know what that does, huh? The heck are orbs? Okay, well, I mean, there's not really much that we can do, so let's do it! Mind shield costs three. It doesn't tell me what it does. Does it heal him? Does it just prevent him from getting damage? I, mm. It's my turn, I assume. Okay. I'm just going to undo that. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't even move. Okay. So I feel like mistakes have already been massively made here. Well, we'll see. Move your mouse cursor over a character to see the character's info, health, blah, 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 blah. Got it, got it, got it. Right, so what are you looking at here? A little bit banged up, buddy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move here. It seems kind of silly. We're going to go ahead and we're going to mind shield you. I'm not sure. Oh, it healed you. Okay. Uh, sure. We'll go ahead and we'll attack you. Down you went. Took a shot at their archer. I guess we missed? No, we didn't. Okay. We'll, we'll slap back there. Okay. When an ally is hurt, use the shield to heal him. You can tell it's a shield because it displays a blue box around the target. Okay. All right, well, unfortunately for you, I'm going to hit you with some knowledge. And then I'm going to hit you with some knowledge, too. And then you're going to outshoot the guy who shot you. And there it is. Victory! 130 coins! All right, hopefully we heal between battles. I think we do, but we'll see. Uh-oh. Oh. Did you find Bob? Yes, we did. He's a little thin, but otherwise he's just fine. Cool. He said we can use his basement as a hideout for now, once we get out of here. Good. Fife was starting to get nervous. Who's Baz? A very well 
wealthy man who hates the cult as much as we do. You realize that they're talking about Baz Aljaj? Al sure. Uh, he owns vast tracts of land outside the city as well as Ravenel's Opera House. Who's the kid? Valier. He's an old friend of mine. But more importantly, he's trained in the gift. I'm having him take over as tactician. Surprise! Duvalier? As in Senator Duvalier? No, the contempt creeps into her son. voice. Oh, thanks. Appreciate you, Rachel. Don't worry. We're going to be good friends eventually. You're going to appreciate my tactical prowess and my healing abilities. It's very nice to meet you. I don't think we have much time for introductions right now. He turns to you, lifting two fingers in front of his schwag ingredient. Not sure what that is. That is his hat thing. Okay, cool. Um, Agreed. There'll be plenty of time for that once we get to Baz's place. Armand, have you scouted us an escape route? Yeah. Just follow me. We'll go my usual route. There's a usual route? Armand's had to break himself out of here a lot. Uh. He's sort of our uh, resident expert on the present. Uh, you know what? Sure. What is it? Why are we stopping? I don't see it, huh? There's a whole group of mercenaries right up ahead. They think they're hidden. Scan the passage ahead. Reach out with your mind and feel the passage ahead. Armand is right. You can make out six individuals' thought streams, each from a man waiting in ambush. They don't know who you are, but they know you're intruders. And they are prepared to kill each of you. You've got good ears or eyes, Armand. Yes, he does. All right. Just remember what I told you, and this will go just fine. Hey. Sure. Let me give you some advice. I don't know what Griffin told you, but don't ever let someone tell you to fight fair. You have only one life. If you die, you're dead. You got me? I get you. If you're smart, you'll gang us up on wounded enemies, and you'll hit them from behind. Yeah. Where they're not looking. They go down much faster that Thanks. way. Thanks. No problem. That one was free. The next step will cost you. Just kidding. Uh huh. All right. Well, I, I kind of want to make a save here, but I'm not sure that I can do that or when I can do that. All right. Prepare for battle. Prison ambush. Defeat all enemies. I I guess we're fine. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to have to be where we break off our very first episode of Telepath RPG, Servants of God. It is the first in the 12 days of Bump Miss. Every day I'm going to bring you something new to the channel that we haven't had on here before, whether it's the start of a series, a first look, an indie spotlight, or who knows what. It's coming at you, and hopefully you guys enjoy. And it's a good way for me to at least get something going on in my massive backlog of things that I have yet to cover. So, either way, if you guys want more, more information about the game, more information about the developer, or any of that stuff, I'll have all the info down below in the description of the video and various links, just like I always do. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the Freak Show. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You know, leave a like on the video. Do all the YouTube algorithm stuff. Feed it. Make it happy. Help me succeed. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. As I stated, thank you so much for stopping by. The Freak Show, and enjoy the 12 days of Bumpness. We play, we fight, we conquer.